coming back to our presentation this is how we install firebug and firepath let's go to the next slide so we'll first create a simple selenium code by opening the firefox browser through the web driver that is through the web driver api so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up my workspace in eclipse and i'm going to create a new project i'll call this project as java project click on next and i need to give a project name called as selenium click on finish and say no to the perspective change now I need to basically connect my project called selenium 2 with the selenium web driver API now, how do I download the selenium web driver API if I go to my chrome or any other browsers and if I type in let me close the inspect element tool let me type in www.seleniumhq.org this is the parent site from which we download everything and if you go to the download section out here click on the download section you need to go to the subsection called as selenium client and web driver language bindings and since we are using java language we'll download web driver api for the java language and you see this is the latest version 3.0.0 beta 3 released on 1st september 2016 and that is what we are going to use right now unless we face problem so if we face a problem with this particular beta version we will revert back to the 2 series that is the last version released in the 2 series is 2.53.1 now if you want to get the two series web driver api what you need to do is go to google and you need to go to the repository called as maven repository click on this enter button of your keyboard need to go to this mvn repository out here just click on that particular link and what you are going to do is that just go to type in called something known as selenium in that particular edit box and click on the search button now we are going to use selenium web driver api for java so i can go out and click on this particular link and i will get the last version of 2 series that is 2.53.1 from here so if you click on this particular link you can get the jar files of 2.53.1 from this download section which i am highlighting just click on this particular link and the jar files of 2.53.1 which is the last version of 2 series which get downloaded and then you can start using this particular version of selenium web driver api now let's first try out with the three series that is 3.0.0 beta 3 and so i will just go and download it from here by clicking on the downloadable link okay i will just go and open the folder in which it has got downloaded and I have to see it let's wait let's wait for it to work so this is where it should have got downloaded yes this is the one so i'll cut it from here and uh, put it to my own repo path that is in my desktop
this is where I'll keep it so let me paste it out here after pasting I need to extract it before extraction I will right click rename copy this particular part create a folder by the same name right click paste done after that what I'm going to do I'm going to extract this particular zip folder so right click extract out here so these are the folders which are coming in the lib folder is coming in the client combined jar file is coming in the license and the notice is coming in so I will choose this cut and paste it in this particular folder let's try again okay let's cancel it and check out what's the problem the lift folder is being used somewhere else so what I will do is I will just copy this at this point of time and paste it out here okay so this is where all the jar files of selenium 3 series beta 3 version is kept in this particular folder okay so let's connect our project with this particular jar file so right click on your project go to properties go to java build path go to libraries add external jar files button has to be clicked and pinpoint to the path where you have created that folder the path is created in my desktop in selenium repo this is the folder and these are the jar files that I need to add to my project this is the first jar file again add external jar there are a couple of jar files in the lips folder control a it will highlight all the jar files so click on open it will add all the other jar files go to order and export select all click on that and click on ok button so you have configured now selenium 3 series or selenium 3 beta 3 version with your project code is called a selenium 2 now what we need to do is specifically if I go back to my presentation what I am supposed to do is I'm actually supposed to open Firefox browser through the web driver interface okay so how do I open it for that what I need to do is first go back to my Google and go to selenemhq.org the same downloadable section and we need to download this particular driver called the Gecko driver to op to work with Firefox browser. Okay, now what has happened from 3 series, the Selenium guys have stopped supporting and maintaining the Firefox browser. Up till version 2.53.1, you did not need to download, download this Gecko driver in order to work with Firefox browser. From 3 cities, what they have done is that they have said that Firefox is a third party browser. The browser needs to be maintained and supported by Mozilla guys. Why should Selenium support and maintain it? And that is why from 3 cities onwards, if I want to work with Firefox browser, I have to use this Gecko driver. If I do not use this Gecko driver, I will have a problem and I will show you that. So let's say I want to open the Firefox browser. So what is the class file that I need to do or rather use so first of all I create a package inside the source folder and I'll call this package as uh, first selenium code or first selenium script and inside this particular package I am going to create a new class file called as first code 
click on the main method and click on finish done so the first thing that we are supposed to do as far as our PPT is concerned is opening up the Firefox browser through WebDriver interface so how do we do that for that what we need to do is we need you to use the Firefox driver class the Firefox driver class is an inbuilt class of the Selenium Web Driver API. And this class will be used to open up the Firefox browser and control it. So we need to create an object of the Firefox driver class. So just write down Firefox driver driver is equal to new Firefox driver. If you see there is a red underline out here. If you hover our mouse, you can import the Firefox driver class. Just wait for some time. Import the Firefox driver class from the Selenium package. Now, why I am able to get this import option? Because I have added the Selenium web driver jar files with this particular project called. And what is the project name? The project name is called Selenium 2. And after I import, I will see the import has happened out here. Okay. Now, what I can do is that this, so this is basically used, this class. So I can write down the below code is used to open the Firefox browser and control it. Now, if I run this particular code, so save this particular class file and run it, it should open up the Firefox browser. Instead of that, the console, if you see, is giving me a particular exception and it is called illegal state exception. And what is the exception message? The path to the driver executable must be set by this system property. This is called the system property. So path to the executable of Firefox driver must be set by this particular system property. Since the path to the Firefox driver exe is not set by the system property, it is showing you this exception called as illegal state exception. And this will happen from three series of Selenium Web Driver API. If you are using two series and the last version of two series is 2.53.1 this kind of exception will not come strictly speaking and rather it will open up the Firefox browser now this kind of exception starts coming from three series because the selenium guys have stopped supporting and maintaining the Firefox browser they say that Firefox belongs to Mozilla they should support and maintain it why should we so that is why from three cities if you just give if you just create this particular object of firefox driver class it will not open the firefox browser but yes if you open the same object or use the same object of firefox driver class in the two series the last version was 2.53.1 it will definitely open up the firefox browser but take care of the environment settings that I've shown you earlier if you want to use 2.53.1. So, how to get out of this particular scenario where it shows us the illegal state exception? Okay, and it says the path to the driver executable, that means Firefox driver executable, must be set by this system property. Then only the exception will go. So, for this, what we need to do is that. We need to go to Chrome. So I'll go to Chrome. Go to the download section out here. Go to this particular subsection called as third party drivers, bindings and plugins. There's something known as Gecko driver. Click out here. Okay. The latest version is version 0.10.0. .0. And since I have Windows 64 bit version of OS, I will download this part if you have mac you can download from here if you have linux you can download from here so i'll download this part the zip file rather
it's downloaded and I can show to the folder and I hope this is what gets downloaded so I'll cut it out from here and I'm going to paste it in my path and the path is this particular path you can also create your own path so my path is selenium repo this is where I will actually paste and what I'm going to do is right click rename it create a folder by the same name copy right click again to the blank space and go to new click a folder and paste the particular name that we have copied okay after that you can go to gecko driver version 0 0.10.0 right click extract here I will say yes to all because I already have it out here it's got extracted and the exe is nothing but the executable of the gecko driver through which the Firefox browser will open so I'll paste it or rather cut it out and paste it in this particular folder okay and what I need to do is that go back to my presentation first of all to check up what I am supposed to do I'm supposed to actually create the first selenium code by opening up the Firefox browser through web driver interface so what I do is I go back to my Eclipse and what I am supposed to do is that I am supposed to set up the system property okay and the system property should be set by so the path to the driver executable must be set by this particular property so let me copy this go back to my script out here sorry okay so before I create an object of the Firefox driver I need to use an inbuilt class of Java called the system class the system class has a method called at the set property method so if you put dot the methods of the system class will be enforced and you want to use the set property method so this is the property or method that I want to use set property and the first string argument will be the key the key is nothing but the system property that I've co copied from the console of Eclipse so I'll use this within string format I need to give this particular copied system property webdriver.gecko.driver and in the second argument I need to give the path where my gecko driver is kept so my gecko driver is kept out here so I pick up the path from here copy it by right clicking go to my script and put that particular path and give a backslash again and I also need to give the exe the exe is this one so if I right click and go to rename I can just copy the whole thing from here right click again copy done go to my script and paste that and we have to put a terminator sign and in Java we need to use escape sequence if I are using a backward slash that's all and after that now we will see that we have highlighted or set up the system property where we are telling that this is the system property which needs to be used and the value of the system property is this so I am pinpointing to the gecko driver exe to this executable which will open up the Firefox browser for us and this is necessary for three series of your Selenium web driver. If you are using two series, you don't need to give this line of code. You just have to omit this particular code. But ensure that if you are using, if you are omitting this code present in line number 10, ensure to use the two series. If you are using three series, you have to give this particular code. And this is nothing but you are telling the system to set up the property and this is the property and the value of the property is nothing but the executable path 
where your Gecko driver executable is kept. So through this Gecko driver executable, it will open up the Firefox browser. Otherwise, if I do not use this particular line, I am going to get this exception called as illegal state exception. And the message is completely telling me that the path to the Firefox driver executable must be set by this particular system property called as webdriver.gecko.driver. So let's run the class file now. I see that there is something cropping up. It says that your Firefox profile cannot be loaded. It may be missing or inaccessible. So I click on OK. I see that my Firefox browser has not opened. And I can see that this is the earlier Firefox browser. So for your confusion, I will stop the execution by clicking on the red button. Now it opens up. You can see that after stopping the execution. But this is in the correct way. This is in the correct way. So I will close the Firefox browser. I will close this also at this point of time. Okay. And I see that there is some kind of console message. It says open QA.Selenium remote protocol handshake. Create a session. Then this is the info. Attending to by dialect the session. Assuming postal law holds true on the remote end. And then again another message. So this is nothing but the log message created in the console of Eclipse when you are running the class file containing this particular script. The script is nothing but a script to open up the Firefox browser. Now why it is showing you that uh, why it is actually open up the Firefox browser after you have terminated the class file execution. Now, this is coming because the system property actually needs to be changed. What I need to do is I need to give this particular system property. I need to give something known as webdriver.firefox.marionet. This is the system property that we need to give. And this is the path of the Gecko driver pinpointed by this system property which will actually pinpoint to the gecko driver executable and then it will open up the firefox driver so in this instance of the coding i will not see that the firefox browser is actually opening after you have terminated the class file and this is the correct procedure so instead of using this control c i will put it out here where we had used webdriver dot we had used this particular system property I'll just copy it from here we had used something known as webdriver dot kco dot driver this is what we had used so instead of using this we will be using line number 11 and this will not open the browser after we terminate the class file so let's save the class file and run it. Now we see that I do not have any Firefox browser opened. Run the class file. This is how the Firefox browser opens. And if you see out here, I do not need to manually terminate the class file. Last time I had terminated manually the class file clicking on this button. And I see in the console, there are log messages coming by running the particular script. And these log messages are pertaining to Firefox browser. Okay. Now after that, let's say I want to navigate to Gmail, so let's say google.com. So let's navigate. So navigate to Google page after opening the 
Firefox browser. So how do I do that? If I want to navigate, what I need to do, this is the object of the Firefox driver created. And this object is referenced by the reference variable driver. So I can use the reference variable driver dot use the get method. The get method is basically used to navigate to a particular URL. And the get method will wait or rather the get method will not allow us to go to the next line of the script unless the full web page gets downloaded for Google. So if you have any other lines of code after the get method that will not get executed under, until unless the whole web page gets downloaded on execution of the get method. Now this is the URL which has to be given in string format for the get method. So I can give the URL as www.google.com. Now if I save this class file and I run it, we will see that it opens up Firefox. It is still trying to open it. Yeah, it is opening up Firefox. And it should navigate to google.com. www.google.com. So why it is not navigating? Let's go back to our console. The console shows us some certain exception. What are the exceptions? It's called as web driver exception. And the exception is coming in line number 15. So if I click in this link, this line has the problem. And what is the message of the exception? It is very important that we read the message of the exception. The message of the exception is that it says it's a web driver exception. Target URL www.google.com is not well formed. Why it is giving this particular message with this exception called as web driver exception? Target URL www.google is not formed comes because we have not given the protocol. It is very important that whenever we use the get method, we need to give protocol with it. Since I had forgotten to give the protocol, it is showing you the web driver exception in the console and the message of the exception is coming as target www.google.com is not well formed and I've highlighted that. And this can be removed by just using the protocol in front of www colon double slash. So it is very important that we, when we use the get method or the navigate method, there's another method to navigate to URL. It's called the navigate method. It is important that we use the protocol. If we do not use protocol, we will see that it is throwing up web driver exception ex as an exception in the console of Eclipse, stating that the target www.google.com is not well formed. The moment we give the protocol and we save the class file and run it, everything will be fine. So what I need to do is close the opened Firefox browsers and run this. Let's open up the browser and it's navigated to google.com. You can see that. And if you go to our console, I don't see there's any problem in the console. It is only giving you the log messages pertaining to the Firefox browser getting opened. Okay. And I see in my Firefox browser also, it has navigated to google.com automatically through the script which has run. The script codes are present out here. So this is your first Selenium script where you are opening up the Firefox browser and navigating to google.com website by using the WebDriver API's class file called as Firefox driver class file. So you create an object of the Firefox driver class file. Okay, but before you run this particular line, you got to pinpoint the executable of the Gecko driver through which the Firefox opens. So you got to set up the system property by using this particular property and the value of this property is the path of the Gecko driver. So once it opens up the Firefox browser, 
by this object that is created you can navigate by the get method to this particular URL important that we give the protocol otherwise it will show you a web driver exception so that's part of the presentation let's go back to the presentation and check out what we're supposed to do next